Okay, we are recording again. All right, Alexander is out of this by virtue of being in torpor. And John goes before Anton. Anton, you get another three blood points. I may saved. rejoin uh, in like a couple rounds if he really is killing the entire party. He just say, uh, Anton, can I heal some more? Leave to go. You can heal as you're drinking. I'll allow it. Since it's now a dead body and not uh, someone that's struggling. John is yapping yeah, yeah, something but... behind you. Mewling like a wretch. You should bonecraft him into another chair. Perhaps a table. This time. Your strength is still buffed, by the way. Yes. I know. So, I'm going to turn look at John. There is still a blood and, point uh, in the ghoul if you want. Oh, I'll keep, I'll keep draining. Because I'm thirsty. Okay, John, you see him drained continue draining, and you can now see that the ghoul is just pale as fuck. There's very little blood left in her. Yeah, she can't be alive anymore. I don't care. What are you gonna do? Walk around the corner? Just... Obfuscate? No, he's just going to live normally. Okay, and But we'll put out packs on hearing before. Okay, uh, Anton, as you let the ghoul drop, you can hear the uh, other flashback walking away. What do? Well, I hope I don't find him when I run out the door, but I'm going to turn around and run after him. Okay. Uh, John, you, I guess considering his higher initiative he would be able to hear this start happening and react to it in yes. theory he, I put uh, out the aspects on hearing so he prob probably would notice him coming considering that that is pretty much what you're watching for and that your aspects is just on hearing and high enough I would say that you automatically succeed at that so what would you like to do as Anton is about to come around the corner after you? I just turn back and slash at him with my claws. Okay. And use celerity to slash him. Okay, Anton. As you come around the corner, John launches a single slash and you see his form blur. Essentially, you will be able to attack after he has gotten one hit in. John, if you would roll your attack. I will split two times. You want The to people of Dolden Motions are facing each other. It's a very uh, silent battle. Die, you fucker. No, you... I... <laughs> I add my <laughs> celerity to my dexterity, right? No, you did say you are using your celerity actions after this. In this oh. turn, that is. Mm -hmm. It's just that Which everyone takes their normal action and then celerity actions start coming in. Yep. I liked Anton. He was fun while he lasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's too I don't like rope fight him. <laughs> no, that's just uh, the two attacks. I still have to roll damage. Ah, alright, you did say you were splitting. Alright, fair enough. I think if I die, Jack is still frozen as a, t a chair, isn't he not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is, unless you spend a life boon with Sally to fix you. Okay, you take three points of aggravated damage, unless you have four, dude, and you may do the fleshcraft roll on him. Your strength is still buffed, by the way. I'm doing bonecraft, remember? Yes, bonecraft, sorry. I'm gonna up my strength by two. Alright, so up to eight. <laughs> Someone's yes. really trying to kill someone here. 
I'm if Anton not... survives all of this, uh, he may be the new Ductus after the after his punishment is commenced. I doubt it, but <laughs> okay, go ahead. He he's fucked up Jackalord. If he takes over again, <laughs> then that's that's a pattern, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, not that great. You're okay. Uh, kind roll of. to soak for lethal. Does nothing. Crack! Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. Bacon. Okay, you have four points of lethal. You may proceed with your two celerity attacks. Remember to subtract wound penalties. Yes, yes. indeed. Unless he willingly goes into into uh, into uh, frenzy, I would he... say that he's not. He's used enough to being sliced at that. I'm yeah. I'm dead. I'm gonna. You're die. probably dead. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Roll again. We'll see. That's the damage. Okay. That's the next attack. <laughs> okay, that misses. You have... John Doe will have a chance. Anton, what will you do on your next turn? All right, how much damage was that? That was four? You have a total of, I think, five, five. aggravated. Yes, so you can still act. Uh... You could spend a willpower point to dive out of the window, since you're in one of the upper story, you know, walkways around the edge of the house with big ass windows. Like say here on the picture, you could dive out of this window and go running off somewhere else. If John lets you. I recommend doing that because if you try to kill John, you probably will die. Or John could let him live. You don't have to kill him. Actually, John, how much loyalty do you feel towards him? What did you get Eight. on the Valdry towards him? Eight. In that so case, he doesn't you... want to kill him. Yes, so you wouldn't deliver the death blow. I think. Keep that in mind. Can I buff Probably again? enough. I'm the only one that could deliver a death blow to him right now. By, by the way, I'm I'm thinking I can buff to ten. You if can. I'm not you can. And I'm going to. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is... John, you see him about to fleshcraft you again. What do you do? Keeping in mind that you do feel very loyal towards him, and while you won't die for him, you're not gonna kill him out of hand either. In fact, you're going to try and keep him alive, most likely. Can I try to dodge him and use yes. his alert to do one attack? You could do that, yes. You can use your celerity for defensive actions, and... Yeah. You could try to just or dodge... Or you could just say, full defense for my full action. <laughs> I think I will go full defense, and then I can use celerity action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To just do one more attack, but. Do you wish yeah. to use claws? That'll kill him, almost assuredly. It might. Might not. Let me ask. I got three. I got three on him. Uh, but I'm in frenzy. It doesn't matter, does it? Oh, he didn't manage to soak any of it. He got four lethal. Well, I mean, I no, mean, he was talking his body, his body. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't think yeah, he gave he a fuck about anyone but the priest. He is going to Aren't go for another attack, but if if uh, Anton is close to death, he I will spend a real power point to. Uh, stop before killing him. Are you gonna try and leave him at incapacitated or torpored? Incapacitated. Alright. 
All right, fair enough. Okay, so you were all combat ready at the start of the night. Well done. And Bob the Dark arrives on the next, next night. And sees okay. all the chaos. Okay. <laughs> TPK. <laughs> TPK. 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 Unless we want to burn through that last destiny point. <laughs> All right, so... Don't worry, there's a Valkavian around. Anton, make a dex brawl to see if you can grab hold of him. And John, make a uh, dex athletics. Is that something playable? Yep, that's what uh, Alexander looks like, more or less. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Attempt to dodge. John, attempt to dodge. One of your celerity oh guys my. does apply since you only used one for a celerity action. Please, God, let these seven dice be good for me. Is it? There is no God. There is I know. just two. Shit. Oh, fuck me! Go ahead and roll your uh, bonecraft. Watch Forgive me. me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Boom! Okay, roll for soak. You might be okay. There's a chance, however small. Okay. You are uh, now at crippled with lethal. He game froze for me. Actually, what did I roll? You got uh, two successes on the soak and. Uh, you get uh, two more lethal, which I believe takes you to six, which means you are crippled. Yeah. AKA okay, the fuck my dice pool part. Mm -hmm. Anton, what do? <laughs> Wait, I have my celerity. Ah, yes. Actually, yes, you do. You're right. My bad. Go ahead and roll with minus five. As you collapsing to the floor, try to gra drag a claw across, across his chest. Does he, uh, hold on one second, does he, uh, appear wounded? Like, does he actually appear, like, incapable of fighting now? To me? Not quite, actually. Not he quite. Still appears... Yeah. Still if capable he of fighting, like he he's not incapacitated. I'm trying to think of a way, like, to jump out the window. Could have done that a little bit ago. <laughs> I could have, but he was on his feet. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that hits. Shit. Goodbye, Anton. Goodbye. Roll for it. I mash. Not quite, actually. He spent a willpower point. He declared a... Okay. <laughs> or maybe not. You are Ash. <laughs> Um, yes, you're Ash. You're definitely Ash. He says, you're Ash, as he collapses face first. <laughs> <laughs> did we say that you were going to fleshcraft him again? I think we did. I think we yeah. decided that. That makes sense. Go ahead and spend, what is it, your last blood point on that? So, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll Actually, it would be my last health level. It'll be my it'll be a health level because I forgot to take off blood for that last one. Okay, so but you still have health, you wouldn't be at incapacitated, right? No, so, I'll have I'll have one left. Alright. I still have fourteen, right? <laughs> yes, of course you still have fourteen. Oh. Well shit, son! <laughs> Roll for soak, John. Wrecked. You rolled that to us. Wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> he did tell y'all not to piss me off. Anton, you he collapse. Did say this last time. Anton, you collapse next to the fine new table. 
You just created, incapacitated and out of blood as you slipped into a hunger torpor. John, you are now a bone table. Well, technically, we wouldn't, he, would he have had enough time to do that because, uh, because he would have had to spend a lot of blood uh, at health level. When you get that many successes on that kind of stuff, it's just kind of up, up to the ST. Yes. Uh, what happens? So. Yes, and it's better than him running off into the night and waking up in a field with five minutes to sunrise. So I'm actually being generous. Satan, you come upon this seed. You have another new piece of furniture, a dead ghoul. And uh, two torpored vampires. Well, one torpored <laughs> table and one torpored vampire, actually. Actually, don't forget the torpored chair. <laughs> I'm going to put the torpored table and chair into that one closet in which the there library is, is. There isn't enough room. It's a relatively small closet. Like, big enough for a single The nearest time, room so. to that point. Okay, in the basement, then. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and okay. then I'm going to hook, uh, hook the torpored body of Anton to some chains and stuff down there as well. I should have fucking diabolized him when I had the chance. <laughs> That's me. So here's the question. Do the two of you, Bacon and Jack Lord, want to roll new characters that keep these as pieces of furniture? Or do you want to try and... Pieces of furniture it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, back. what was that about, uh, you know, packs around me just seeming to disappear? We'll <laughs> <laughs> get blamed for this, actually. Life. You will get yeah. blamed for this. <laughs> oh god, I just realized that. Yes, you will get blamed for committing uh, murder. Nope, I actually probably will get away with this just completely fine. I mean, I mean, the, uh, Anton, he will essentially be uh, accused of being uh, anti support Epic. Uh, here's the thing. This isn't the first time it's happened. It's the third or fourth. Oh, no. I was thinking like sixth or seventh. Or sixth or seventh. So, patients might be running out. I don't know. People just keep doing this around me. <laughs> Maybe you're just competent, right? Yeah. Maybe they're not. <laughs> okay, so the next night arrives with everyone in torpor. There's a knock on the door. Let me just pull him up. No, oh, you need to put the table near the chair. <laughs> no, I did. Okay. Uh, hello. Hi. Roll insight. The voices tell you to beware of this fucker. Kill him. Kill him now. What do you want? Uh, is that on it? Uh, Please show me to not the really. Dawn. Not really. He's not in right now. The uh, face goes blank. And uh, he says... I know he's here. I have an appointment. Don't jerk me around. Let me in. Now. I'm sorry, but appointments aren't allowed at this point in time. I see. Passion. Okay. Now, could you please just... Go away. Are you deadening his emotions or heightening them? Heighten and then we're causing him to rot strike away. Okay, go ahead. Roll for it. Wait a second. <laughs> Alright. More than enough. He's at difficulty 10. It only goes up to nine as far as I'm concerned. Nine plus one. Hmm. Spending willpower. Barely he made that one. Alright. 
spend a second out of willpower on this. Ooh, Wait, why he is he at 9 plus 1? He would be at 8. Because... Oh, right. Because... Right, right, right. It's combo! Combo. You're absolutely right, you little bitch. Whoops, that's wrong. That was a... F was that a fail? That, that is was, a I... fail. But he feels it coming on, I believe. He will feel it coming on. I think. We've ruled it that you can tell when that's coming on. As I said, no visitors at this time. Okay. You see his form shimmer and melt as you see something uh, twisted and bubbling beneath as he will have just enough time to launch one attack against you as you're sending him away. Dodge! Dodge for my life! You may engage total defense as he will be splitting this five ways with potents engaged. Just with basic I know. fists. We'll see. Oh, well, I can dodge. I think I have a dot of athletics. I'm gonna roll all the attacks first. Don't roll the dodges yet, just so that we know how Oh, I thought we were gonna do versus versus stuff. Uh, it's gonna be messier that way. Well, he might actually hit all of them. Yeah, he's gonna hit all of them. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm dead now. <laughs> so you met Bob the Dark. Hello. This is why nobody likes you. Uh, this is why nobody likes you. <laughs> he did. No, actually, I would, I would actually heavily disagree with this one, but... Because that one did not make any sense. Actually, you know what? I will disagree with him doing this. This makes no damn sense. You're absolutely right. And neither does any part of this game. No, a lot of it does make sense. Yes, Bob a lot of it Dark. does make sense. Yeah, Bob, Bob Dark the... coming in here as disguised, and then when he feels that the Malkavian is sending him away, even with Rot's track. I am that thinking does that not he make loses sense. control of his obfuscate the moment he goes into a frenzy, essentially. It's not a frenzy. Same difference. And obfuscate doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. So that would stay on, even if he is Rotrecked? Yes. Yeah. Huh. All right, fair I'm enough. Not in that case, he would... him. In yeah, that I'm not case, he wouldn't give a flying fuck about that. Then, yeah, he wouldn't attack I'm... you if he could maintain his cover. Fair enough. Yeah, it's just a passive kind of mind-influencing kind of deal with Bob Sukate. Doesn't really care about anything like that. All right, fair enough. Yeah, that that's why I was that that's why I decided to argue with you on that one. That Actually, suddenly attacking an Alkavian didn't make sense in that situation. Actually, we're gonna rule that he didn't do it under one circumstance. If you fail to dodge all of those attacks and uh, stay awake after that. There's no way I'm going to be able to dodge all of them, but sure, whatever. Because I want to see how this would turn out if we did do it. Dodge the next one. Alright. So that's what that we went through. What's your so-called... Oh, Two. Alright. A.K.A. Die regardless. Let me just secretly roll those just to see what would happen. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, Definitely. fair enough. He it just goes running been... off. Mm hmm. Because that makes a lot more sense than him suddenly breaking his cover to attack the Malkadian for okay, fine. a meeting. 
Let's retcon that. Because, yeah. He would have essentially attacked if his cover had been broken. Mm-hmm. Which, at least now he has a good idea there's a Malkavian there. Mm-hmm. So, there is one more thing we can do to save this party. And bring everyone back to life. Well, you do have barrels of blood. Awaken Anton, you can reawaken Alexander, because he was the one that went into a damage run, right? Or was it John? Yep. Uh, it was uh, both John and Alexander. They went into damage torpors. But Anton is just in a blood torpor. Yes. And just needs some blood to get out of it. Okay, so... Blood barrels arrive. What do you do? Dump Anton into one? Uh, drink, drink some myself. Get Anton. Dr dump him into it. Okay, so you just leave Violet where she is. You don't uh, turn her on anything. She's dead. Well, you see, she didn't seem like she particularly followed her own uh, kind of stuff. You know, followed her passions. So, no. She was gonna leave. She got four successes on the deception. She was gonna force it with willpower and try to break the blood bond. <laughs> she had seven willpower. She could have done it. She could nope, have stayed she's away. Dead. She's dead. I was actually gonna try and steal her, so. Turn what? her into a boy. <laughs> oh, you fucker. I, I have like <laughs> if I made an enemy like a, a human enemy or something I was like I'll just I'll just give him a sex change <laughs> maybe do, do a full frontal lobotomy and uh, send him out to pimp him out on the streets Satan approves of this <laughs> okay both of them <laughs> okay I'm gonna probably name your guy something else and not make it Bob the Dark. I just felt like I need to punish you for choosing Bob as a fucking name. Hey, Bob's it, a good name. It hey, is, look, and it's mine. It makes, yeah, it even Challenge makes sense for Gus Rogers. It's a one dot contact, so I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, it makes sense in the way that... Contacts uh, are just people that you are literally in contact with. So yes. that you can do things. Besides, They're not. You don't know him as a vampire. He's essentially gonna pretend to be a gang boss to you. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I definitely did not waste any time trying to determine what he is. There's not at this moment. We just have too much stuff we need to fix up again. <laughs> So yeah, I'll bring Anton back. Uh, we'll eventually get everyone else back up the, with, you know. All right. So him Anton, blood. you uh, wake up spluttering in a barrel of blood. What do? Essentially, you're down there. You're frenzying. You're instinctively draining it and trying to heal. Mm hmm. And there's enough blood there that you should be able to do it without much of a hassle. There is seven and a half points he uses one to awaken and heal that first point of damage. At which point he's in frenzy and he drinks the other six. Mm -hmm. Which means you're at six blood and crippled. Unless you heal, in which case you're still hungry and the provocation to frenzy isn't gone. But yeah, he, but there's still more blood did. over in this one. There's more he blood in this one. So just... I'm awake. It's aggravated, right? Some of it is, but some of it some he of spent it. just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, please note down on your temporary sheet how much aggravated you have, Nietzsche. Yeah, there oh, is a mix of aggravated and stuff in there, so... How much did I get? I just took it off the thing. I think you got a total of four aggravated. That sounds right. I was having too much fun trying to die. <laughs> you tried very hard to succeed at that. <laughs> actually, no. I was actually trying to go for some badass points on that. Ah, uh, maybe ish. I would Who's honestly more? be tempted to give the badass points to Jackalone in this case because that megalomania—it was immensely stupid and just perfect for megalomania. 
Even in the way it came crashing down on oh. everyone. I would I would gotten away with it too if he hadn't gone around and rolled fourteen fucking dice on that shit. That was later. He was only rolling. 10 yeah, I know. He probably had only like ten dice, but still. So, so Jack, do you like Anton? No, I hate him. I should have deobliged him when I got the chance. If it helps, he still hasn't gotten his dirt. He's about to suffer from half, uh, half his stuff. You did not sleep with your dirt. That is true. Nor did I. In fact, uh, so you're you're both about to be fucked on your dice pools. <laughs> well, Jackalork has been in torpor, so I would say that that does not. Actually, yes, I would say that since they were in torpor, that does not count as normal sleep. Yeah, that's fine. I was just saying, we don't got any dirt for um, Tennessee for Anton yet, either. You know, it might have been trash day. Violet did have people arranged to handle all the things around the house. You know what this means? This means it's up to Satan to actually bring in some people. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. At least you have the generation now to actually embrace a few tin bloods, right? Yeah. If needed. Anton, you can, just going for some... you poke your bloodied head up above the rim of the barrel. You see the Malkavian standing over you. What do? Hey. I am displeased. You can tell. <laughs> Drink your blood as needed. How much blood can I get? How much I blood did you take, uh, Epic? I took six. I took, uh, I took uh, four for waking up the next day as well. Okay, I was at so seven. there oh. would be another... Three, I think? Four, I think. Anton used four. one to wake up. And that automatically gives okay. him a uh, one point of health since he's awakening from torpor. Yep. And that leaves, yeah, that leaves another four. I'm going to uh, heal up uh, five points. You wait, what? You can't heal up five points because a lot of it is aggravated. Oh, that's right, it's aggravated. It's aggravated. Never mind. Mm. You can you heal have, up uh... to the point where you can walk, essentially, more or less. Yeah. Yeah, he's at mauled. He just slowly drags his way out of the barrel. We we had a we had a visitor. Oh uh, yeah, that was my friend Bob. Yeah, don't bring Reapers home. Hey, we gotta get money in here somehow. Don't bring Reapers home. Yes, Satan. Given your roles, which you would know that this is a very, very bad man, and he can be very, very dangerous. Mm-hmm. And there's something off about him. Yeah, as I said, I was just, I'm just basing it off of that. So now we need to fix things. Lots of things. You scratched up pack very well. Uh, I mean, you saw what happened to me. What was I supposed to do? Uh, uh, You've well, had the beast take over before, I'm sure. I'm sure you don't mm. mind that I just turned off the pack in the, in the, ta in the tables and chairs, but... I kind of I kinda like the new furniture, I admit, but it's kind of macabre. I mean, at least <laughs> keep the chair for a little while. <laughs> No, we need the we need we need we need uh, we need we need him back. Huh. What you do is you awaken him first and then fix him slowly. Now, now go fix. Then you go just fi earn some, go fix then them. You just earn some path of, uh, Lord of go fix them. Your ass. Fix them up. We'll we'll get blood in tomorrow, and we'll see about getting everyone back up. Uh, and then punishment uh, will commence. Uh, can I ask you a favor? No. What? <laughs> uh. 
Can you look for the dirt and the trash for me? I need my dirt. All right. Roll me a... Well, there's not that many people here, so... Roll 1d7. On a 1, it's trash day. And it's gone. We'll let, we'll let Anton roll. Anton, roll for your dirt. Did you say 1d7? Yes. Okay. So it will still be there. In theory. If he chooses to find it. I will find his dirt by my usual aspect of I look at him to try and find his important dirt. Okay. This would be a very high difficulty, most likely, because he himself does not know, and at this point it's just dirt. Let's see... Okay. Can you give me a base? Uh, 9 plus 1, probably. So what did Jacklor roll on my character? That, sh that should be more than enough. Okay. You pick up a very, very large concentration of dirt off in the distance somewhere. You're pretty sure that's the state of Tennessee. You And you pick up a much smaller blip just outside the house. I should be able to tell where it is there. Yes, you can. I'll you can be back. home in on it. And what did you ask about what Jackalore used? Niche. I was wondering what he rolled. Uh, like when we did the, uh, the ritual earlier. On my character. Uh, I don't recall. And you wouldn't know. Okay. Yes, indeed. Anton, you find your way downstairs to the basement. Feel free to shit in... Uh, not shit, but uh, sit in your new chair. <laughs> Shitting it would be difficult as you are a vampire and your crap no Is he awake? Works. Can he hear? He's no, awake. He they are torpored. If you pour a okay. blood point down his throat, he will very much be awake. I'm gonna do that. Or <laughs> <laughs> you wake up. You realize you are now a chair. What do? Can't talk. Can I spend a point of willpower to ignore wound penalties and roll and roll the and roll my presence too? No, I would say probably. Well, you could. I say you. I'd say you need working vocal cords to do no, that. No, I would say that his throat and head are essentially fused in the back of the chair, so they're functioned, right? There's a throat that. You can pour blood down and that kind of... Why shouldn't I then be able to use it? Yes, you would be able to use it. Do you say anything? I say something. Because I squat down and find where his eye level is. Or where his ears are or whatever. And I say, look... If he starts talking, I'm definitely doing that. Okay. Roll initiative to see who gets to uh, do their thing first. <laughs> I leave you guys for two away. seconds. <laughs> Roll initiative. I want to see who gets to move first with this bullshit. Probably him. Yep. Anton, you get to say your thing as long as it's not too long. Ah, look, I'm gonna fix you up. It's no hard feelings. You know how the beast is. We must know <laughs> the beast. I, should I tell who, uh, uh, have him run off or not? You already said you would do it. Yeah, I will. <laughs> so piss off the one person. Okay, stay a chair. Stay a chair. <laughs> stay a chair. Or, uh, no, I'm gonna say he can talk. That essentially his head and neck area is still functional. It's just everything else that has been fused into this rough but serviceable chair entity. Ah. He I'm just sad now. hisses at you like a little bitch. 
<laughs> no, actually, he's, he actually is. I'm not hissing at him like a little bitch. Anton, you do know the procedure for lobotomizing someone, did we say? For making someone a schlockta? Did we decide you knew he's a man. that? Uh, we never rolled for it. You could start removing pieces of his brain and experimenting at this point. Or you could spend no. a blood point to close up his mouth so he can't hiss at you. Or just melt his face. I will I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm going to uh do the <laughs> thing with the mouth so he can't talk. Okay. He might gain yeah, another anyone, derangement, uh, by the way. <laughs> yes he this might. This is like serious torture shit. Jackal, yeah. I want you to roll willpower at difficulty nine, not to go even crazier. Hey, what is the? What is his? If he has a courage, even if he has courage of five, that's still two successes. He'd be pretty scared by that. He would be. He's momentarily startled, but he can still fuck with you. Not just momentarily okay, startled. Three, that's three, which is the real magic number. Jackal, you need it. Coming from a chair, it's comic rather than scary, so you do suffer from additional difficulty penalties. Not only that, I don't think it's just his uh, one virtue. I'm pretty sure no, it's, it's more uh, than that. Courage plus wits. It was, I'm guessing his wits, uh, courage is, plus wits is, uh, diff gets a difficulty of uh, five, so yes. I'm guessing difficulty six. So no, he's fine. So Jackal stop or... guessing and go with it. Yes, stop Whatever. looking at what his thing is in initiative and just... I don't need to, and not anymore. So yes, uh, willpower difficulty 9, did you say? Yes, as Anton proceeds to casually melt your face. Just, uh, considering that this is a very rough thing, you can automatically succeed at it, just take off a blood point, Anton. Or does my wound penalties account for this? Uh, for the willpower? Yes. I think it would, because you're trying to remain in control of your mind, right? And the pain and is you're distracting a chair. you. Hey, you succeeded. Yay! Okay. You I'm just so team. fucking... Uh, I'm so murdering your ass when I get the chance, by the way. I you could. See his, uh... You wish to do this officially because that is a thing. I'm not. I'm not until I'm not a chair anymore. Anton, you see his eyes bulge out, and he just this muffled squeak like <laughs> as you do it. <laughs> and I think I we can... can end the session on this right before. I you... think that's a good place. Yeah. So. Okay, I think I do think it's so. a very beautiful ending. So. Alexander, <laughs> Jekyll, what has Alexander learned? That uh, that apparently Nietzsche is a huge, huge dick. And I should have gone and dialogued him before, uh, when I got the chance. Okay. Me? No, I'm yes. not. I'm not. What has Satan learned? Who are you talking to? Epic. What has uh, Satan learned? Oh, well, Satan has learned that... Let's see. He actually has something of a reputation with uh, the rest of some higher sabbat. This is a good thing. Hey, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What has John learned? The rest, the, everything else has literally just been as expected in Satan's mind. <laughs> John learned that life without the pleasure of torturing mortals is very boring and depressing. And, and then you're for... suddenly a table. Yeah. <laughs> if he uh, becomes... When life hands you lemons, turn into a table. <laughs> if he had the uh, effect of the occasion for like a year, he would probably commit suicide. You wouldn't care enough to commit suicide. 
Actually, he, he could so care enough. With life that he would just wanted to end it. That yeah. I that mean, basically, could be this reason. this is like a de- description, a full on description of depression, like real severe depression, apathy. Okay. You know. Fair enough. He could. What has Anton learned about Tremere usurpers and furniture? I'm not a Tremere. I learned he's a. I learned he's a Zamishi. And I learned he's a little bitch. You know he knows thaumaturgy. I know he he is stolen. I know he has stolen the bastard's magic. (laughs) Wow, you really hate this fuck. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't hate Jack though. (laughs) He just. I don't think you hate the priest at all. (laughs) Yeah, the priest is a good guy. Nah, you got an eight. You're cool. (laughs) No, that's not just that's not just loyalty. I'm actually saying even as role play. (laughs) (laughs) I don't really see your affliction as uh something you can help. All right, you've been all right, Sammy. I would say that uh, Jackalor does deserve the uh, roleplay point. Jackalor is... gets the roleplay. I yeah. give Jackalor the roleplay. Badasser. I think there should be a badassery point then given to Anton <laughs> for, for TPK. TPK for TPK. Okay. Uh. I then I would then uh, go and request uh, a point for the entire party for just so many screw ups if that's allowed. <laughs> I... Mitigating points, or maybe Satan gets one for cleaning, being able to clean shit up. I don't know. I Whatever. would say, you know, usually not. Because screw-ups are screw-ups. But this is such a wonderful learning experience about how to coexist as a bot that I will grant you all a point for that. And the uh, roleplay would go to Jackalor as for Badass 3. Well, mostly that was really good dice rolls, but those were really badass dice rolls. So you know what? Fine. Let's be generous. Anton gets an extra awesome point as well. Mm-hmm. So 4-4 so. four, four and 5-5. Five, five. And Satan appears to be doing what he's actually supposed to be doing. Fixing up the party after it kills each other. <laughs> yes, you're competent at your job. whoop de doo you stand out! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I, th- I think oh. our positions are very well defined. Except now there might be a new ductus. It's quite likely. Not if I torch, uh, not if I torch him with a learn fl- uh, flames. Uh, you are aware that uh, this was all unsanctioned, and he's also going to be receiving punishment, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to get in true. trouble. A lot of trouble. Yeah, the <laughs> only reason you can live is because the priest can actually go through a ritual. Okay, so... Hey, hey, they could punish me by binding me to somebody. No, they would never. It's <laughs> almost always either the priest going through a contrition rite, or you die. What is contrition rite? What does that do? Uh, that That is literally uh, going to a priest, basically do it, confessing your sins and then accepting punishment. That is what I did with, uh... Hmm? (laughs) I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, You were supposed to try and TBK the party? Because if that's the case, that's a great job you're doing. (laughs) I'm half tempted to, uh, give Anton a path point, but that was all in Frenzy. That was... Provoked by yeah. me, and but I did ride out of frenzy. So you did not ride out the frenzy. We're gonna count the fact that I tried to get out of it, not riding out. Yeah, no, you can't ride. You don't ride away. If you don't attempt to ride away in frenzy, it doesn't count. Okay. 
Yeah, you kind of have to consciously make that choice, and you consciously tried to avoid it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yes. Can I make a case for a willpower point because I uh, did a lot of experimentation on my clan mates. <laughs> that is. You have the scientist thing, and that's about coldly and logically resolving a yeah. problem. There was nothing cold and logical okay. about this. Okay. Yeah, that was very hot, heated, angry crafting. Yes. That was just... Kelvin did give you a path point for that when you experimented on people. Or rather, a willpower point for experimenting on people. But that was Kelvin just being a moron, because that's not how it's supposed to work. Mm -hmm. Way back when. Alright. So, yeah. I have So I turned out ahead. Yeah, I have high hopes for next session. Maybe I'll get you to final death with each other at long last. And uh, you know, I might do that once I once I finally learn. Once I finally learn the lore of players, I might. Uh, uh, I might do you cause wish to, to perform to a monomancy. A monomancy. What did you say? That's essentially a duel. monomancy. I that do have is... a lot of like willpower points. I mean, I have a lot of experience points I want to spend. Yeah. That is up. actually how Sabat officially fight each other. Do note, it is to the oh, death. Oh yeah, Monoman. You mean the ri uh, the ritual for that? Yeah. About ritual. Yeah, I'd be fine Monom with doing that with the war sim. Yeah, that is the official thing for trying to take down other uh, Sabat members, so... especially ones that are you know. Okay, so the experience points you had before this final award you can spend before now next time because, well, you had those three weeks of downtime and we're just going to say that you retaught your shit during that. Piece of shit. I know that uh, it did not update because it's... Can I do... Can I add a, a dot of medicine? Uh, justification. Because we're I've essentially saying that we're talking about this would have kicked in essentially during the downtime that we had during this session because we're probably going to continue. Well, if you want to say that we take another week where you just pull yourselves together while the other packs get even more influential and you keep looking like derps, that's fine. Yep. Uh... Do you want to take you know a what? week in which you pull your shit together? In which case you can spend all the experience and... Yeah. I'm, pla I'm planning on actually only spending my experience once I, once I can finally learn the lore of flames. I'll uh, let you I learn wish... Well, I wish to upgrade my aspects again, but I need to make a couple rolls to uh, see how people felt and all that. Yes, you probably would. Now, it so, certainly let you upgrade Obfuscate if you want it to 3. I don't want to upgrade that. I wanted to get Auspex. Okay, fair enough. I just haven't found a good point to do the Auspex stuff besides in downtime. You because know, everyone's been killing each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, John, do you want to spend experience? No. Okay. I uh, think uh, a share, uh, table should not uh, spend experience. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take up another week as Anton tries to put everyone back the way they were. At the start of next session, you will be making some rolls for that to see if you put them back right. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm just going to experiment with Auspex and also, also by the way, does, mo does Monomancy end with one getting the one person getting the Diablerized in Final Death? Uh, final Death, definitely. I'll check for Diablery. Mm -hmm. All right. Or, or, or is that something Yachtis has to allow? And mm -hmm. I do have to allow it, and I have to abdicate it and everything. Okay. Yes, sure. So, no, if you wish to do final death... Yeah. Yeah, Adon, you wanted to spend yeah. some experience. What did you want? I was going to do medicine. Okay. 
I think I'll allow it because you have certainly acquired a new and intimate understanding of the nerds of uh, unliving creatures, at least. <laughs> we had a Zemitsi on the loose. It wasn't pretty. Zemitsi are never pretty. It appears that it is literally up to the pack priest on whether or not uh, even final death or first blood or whatever happens. Yeah. So, if you want, you could convince me to do a mono Macy in which you could diablerize the opponent. Yes, I would totally demand that. That's the only thing I would, uh, that would uh, fix everything. So... Um, Both of you should make backup characters if this does happen. Yes, I will over the week make sure there's some sheets. Like, I have tomorrow free as well. I'll make sure to generate all the sheets so you can put down add another character. Or you could for now just make a PDF sheet and just share it with me over Google Drive. And I can uh, create the PDF sheets. Yeah, and I will end the video here and wow. Considering how much damage you get to do with basic crap and how f much freedom tends to spoil you, next game, you're playing fucking ghouls. Uh, and then I probably decline playing the game. I oh. politely say, yeah! Really, Jekyll, are you not interested in a ghoul game? Uh, no. Even if you get turned later? Likely would no. Okay. Fair really? enough. Why? What's so wrong with ghouls? Is this like what you have against Malkavians? Something around that line. He just doesn't want to be weak. You are racist. I, I think he really I don't know underestimates. How to play characters who are incredibly weak is the problem. Dude, you know, that's what you specialize in. Why don't you just. Why didn't you pick a Bruja? I you did wanted that! To Guess what happened? Apparently, my, uh, my, uh, my the Tsimisi decided that he was insane. The uh, Tsimisi did not decide he was insane. You decided to, well, you botched a, you know, the whatever we place conscience with. I keep forgetting. Conviction. And when I say insane, yeah. I meant his dice. Because seriously. Oh, he you just like, meant his dice? Okay. Yeah, his dice went pretty insane. It is admitted. Okay. Let's just end the recording here and yeah.